Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. I'm here at the Bel Air Tennis Club in uh, Costa del Sol. Uh, there's an ITF series, there's a lot of ball sounds and screams and laughter in the background. It's pretty packed. I'm actually waiting for my match to start, so why not talk about the best one-handed backhand rackets on the market right now? I know there are a few issues we can have here already. What's best? It's very subjective. You use these titles to talk about what you feel. It's, it's not about what's best objectively because there's no objective measurement. These are the ones that I feel uh, are the best ones for me personally, but I also see it with many players that I either consult or talk to uh, when I travel around the, the world doing tennis stuff. So the best one-handed backhand rackets are usually rackets lower in head size than 100 square inch. Why? The bigger the head size, the tougher it is to kind of whip through. The maneuverability on this kind of movement is limited. I think I see that with most players. There are obviously exceptions and players who say it's no problem playing a one-handed backhand with any racket. It doesn't matter how the racket looks, shape, size, whatever. One-handed backhand was the main backhand you hit back like when there were wooden rackets. And tennis has now changed to larger head sizes, stiffer strings, faster game, everything. So. Uh, the one-handed backhand is still around, but it's it's quite rare on the pro level, I would say, especially on the WTA, but also on the ATP, you don't see that many one-handed backhands. But I've listed uh, two different categories of one-handed backhand rackets, the power and spin category, which are more modern rackets, and then the more classical control rackets. First one for spin and power players that need a bit of extra or want a bit of extra power on their shots, bit of extra spin potential potentially. Head Extreme Tour is one of my favorites. The Oxetic version is a bit of an improvement compared to the previous one. Some players feel that they might need to add some weight to this one, which I completely understand. You can also go for the Boom Pro, which is a tad bit heavier. It has a bit more launch in the string bed, a bit more movement in the string, so it's not everyone's cup of tea, but those two rackets from Head are excellent on the one hand when it comes to giving, getting some power and some spin. One that kind of stands out a bit in terms of head size is the 99 square inch Wilson Shift. That has a thicker beam, which is quite rare. Usually you want a little bit of a slimmer beam, maybe 22 millimeters max, because also that's uh, gonna impact maneuverability. But I, I felt like with the Shift's 23.5 millimeter beam, it still comes through pretty well, has good stability, pretty high stiffness, and uh, a nice feeling on the one-handed backhand swing. I felt that, I think other players that I've talked to felt that as well. So. The Shift 99 is there as a modern spin and power racket from Wilson. I've added the Pure Drive 98. I did not like the Aero 98 as much when it comes to the one-handed backhand. I feel like it wants to travel more like this, which is a bit of an unnatural movement on the one-hander for most people. Some players can really hit and full through one-handed backhand, but uh, the, the Pure Drive 98, I think, does, does a better job of just going through the ball, penetrating the shot a bit better. So Pure Drive 98, very stiff though, so keep that in mind. That one is one of the stiffest rackets in Babalat's lineup. Technifiber Iga 298, the Iga signature racket, very nice on the one-hander. Technifiber rackets, I do like the grip shape. That's a personal thing, but the Iga is a nice stick on the one-hander. Also lower in weight, so you have some room for modification or you just have a little bit of an easier maneuverability overall thanks to the low weight. Then from Yonex, the V-Core 95 going down to a 95, but with the isometric head shape of Yonex rackets, they actually play bigger than that head size. And the 95 is a classic used by Shapo and some other players on the tour. And it has a really nice uh, launch on the ball. I think with the latest v cores it may be a bit too much, but the 95 is still the most controlled one. And it gives you more power and spin than you think from a 95 square inch racket. So that should be on the list. Next one from the power and spin rackets, the Dunlop FX500 Tour. Also a racket I felt needed some modification because it's a little bit unstable. But when you do that, it plays really nicely and it swings through the ball really well. So those are the rackets I find on the one-handed backhand side when it comes to spin and power that you should look at. Those are my recommendations for one I feel do this shot really well. When it comes to control players, more advanced players, you want more precision, you want a more dense string pattern uh, and maybe even a thinner beam than some of these modern rackets more control and less power. Uh, we have the obvious choice Head Prestige Pro. It's a great frame. It's very demanding though. So if you want something that is lighter there, you can go for the MP Lite in the Prestige lineup. But the Prestiges are kind of made for that one-handed backhand, I feel like. And the Prestige Pro is, is a good one for that shot. If you want to go lighter with a head racket, the Radical MP is alongside the, uh, the Prestige MP Lite 
a great choice. Those records are kind of similar. The Prestige MP Lite has more flex, uh, while the Radical MP is a little bit firmer, stiffer. So it depends on what kind of feel you like from the racket. I would say the MP Lite is a bit more comfortable if that is an issue. From Wilson, Control Pro Staff 97 version 14. That was a nice update. Uh, very nice on the one-hander. It's an obvious choice for you Roger fans. You don't need to go up to that RF97. You can go with the 315 gram. That's still a relatively heavy racket these days. So that one performs really well on the one-hander. As does the Babla Pure Strike VS. You don't see that a lot, but it's kind of a sleeper racket. It, it's actually a very nice stick. It brings back that old Babla control feel, but in the Pure Strike VS. And that racket really has good control with the 1620 pattern but still, um, yeah, swings through the, the court quite fast and, and with a nice feel. The Yonex Percept line is a great update this year. I really like the Percept rackets, especially the 97 has been growing on me the most. I have not yet tried the 97D, so for you more advanced players that want more weight, want a bit more denser stream pattern, I think the 97D might be even better than the 97. But the 97 is my favorite. And with some added weight, it can really reach up to whatever level you play. I have made it out to some really advanced players and they've loved the, the 97 with some, some extra weight on it. So that one should definitely be on the list for a control one-handed backhand racket. Technifiber TF40, another excellent feeling and playing racket. You can choose 1619 or 1820. Feels very whippy and nice on the one-handed backhand and with some excellent control from slightly thinner beam than the Iga and lower stiffness. And last but not least, the Dunlop CX200, uh, used by Felix Mischke, as you might know. And uh, that one is also very nice through the air and more of a control stick, more similar to kind of like this Prestige Pro or Blade. And it plays really nicely with some excellent control. Might need some modification for you guys who want more stability, but plays great also in stock form. So those are my favorite one-handed backhand rackets you can see the list here. And uh, I really like them all for that shot. And uh, depending on if you want control and feel, or if you want more power and more spin, you choose in the list here. And I feel like the, the Pure Drive 98 is a great frame, but it's a bit stiff. For me, I think the Head Extreme Tour would probably be the, my favorite one-handed backhand racket of the list. But then I struggle with it in other aspects personally, of like the launch angle and so on. So it's really depending on what you would like. If you're really looking for comfort, uh, which can be important for the one-handed backhand players, because you're, the one-handed backhand is one of those shots with the serve, that has this mo motion that really can put some extra strain on your elbow, then I would recommend the Percept 97 is very comfortable, as is the Dunlop CX200, for example. So for more comfort, I would definitely go more towards the control line than the power and spin brackets listed here. That's it for this one-handed backhand video. This was very heavily requested by you guys. So if you have video ideas you want to see, brackets you want me to list, because it's time to update these rackets now, and we're looking at the end of 2023, Put your comment below what kind of video do you want to see what would help you find the right racket or string for your game that's all have a nice day and don't forget to play sometimes